It seems that we've been honing in on the damage and destruction happening throughout the entire city of Chicago for the last couple of weeks. And although those are important stories that we should be talking about and sharing, I think it's time to switch to the community aspect, right? The volunteers, they are working to put Chicago together bit by bit on the southwest side of the city. You have increased the peace, which took to the streets 200 volunteers ready to get to work. We can make sure that our, our neighborhood looks clean because what we've learned from this pandemic is that it's not up to elected officials. It's not up to any people who we think have power. You know, the community is going to be saved by the community. Berto Aguayo is the co-founder of Increase the Peace, a volunteer-led group that's right now focusing on cleaning up Chicago. Instead of, you know, having opinions, because I think opinions can go so only so far, I'd rather focus on what I can do focus on what we can do together. Do you think, uh, I don't know, you're going to be doing this for the next couple of weeks? Do you have the resources to do this? Right now, we're just going day by day. You know, we don't know. I don't even know what's going to happen in a couple hours, right? So we're just focusing on what's going on, processing, digesting, and then figuring out how do we move forward. The volunteers range from different neighborhoods in the city, from different suburbs, and even different ages. We love our neighborhood. Um, we are definitely supportive of the struggle for justice and justice for George and the so many other people. Um, we understand like the anger that people feel like to heal the community. We are here and we want to help out the store owners, especially the local business, because with the double whammy of the pandemic, they need our support. So we've made it out here to 63rd and Western with Increase the Peace. And behind me, you can see volunteers getting to work, getting their hands dirty. They're ready to pick up after whatever was left here. Right now we're on the corner here near a family dollar. And volunteers here tell me this, this is for Chicago, although they had nothing to do with the looting that happened, that continues to happen here in the city of Chicago. They are willing, again, to stand up for their city, stick up and stand up for really what they believe for in hopes of, of turning the city back into what it was prior to this weekend. Well, I don't condone violence. We live in a system, we live in a society, we live in a country where the system only allows change to happen through violence. That's how women gain suffrage. It's how black people got rights in the first place. Increase the Peace volunteers say they hope more and more people become invested both in their community and in the change that needs to happen. I would say that if you're not actively a part of the solution, then you are actively a part of the problem. And so to get out and do something. And we've been able to do more than a lot of elected officials, a lot of established community organizations. And I think that's a testament to the neighborhood and to the need for grassroots activism in our communities. 